to that. Okay, whenever you're ready. Well, I'll just read a little bit. Don't, don't look at me. <laughs> okay. You don't recognize me by my name, and that is the first complaint of my tale. You know me all right, you do. I'm the main character, but my tale is named after a man. But what's in a name? A lot. Especially if that man's name is the answer to a question which lies my fate and the fate of my unborn child. That's why his name is important. Mine? Apparently it's not. Nor are my life, nor is my life. I denied my father's boast, and I told the king I could definitely not spin gold out of straw. But no, he didn't believe me. He chose to believe the words of a vain, egoistic, immature man. And I, I suffer the consequences. Nor are my words important. No matter what I do, if it's answering the name right or answering the name wrong, is decided by a mere guessing game. <laughs> and because I succeeded on the third night, I was rewarded with marriage to the king. Can you imagine that? Marriage, legally bound to obey and honor this man who kept me in a room for three days didn't believe me and threatened to kill me if I didn't do what he wanted. And that was before he owned me. But no, as the tale says, I am clever and smart. But I learned the importance of a name. Proud fathers want to pass down their name. So, dear husband, Aging Highness, what would happen to your precious lineage if my, if your son were to suddenly, because I am not dead, I am living still.